Hello there, welcome everybody. It's Diorama Don here once more. And as you can see, just a very simple idea for um, a diorama setting. You could put a, a couple of tanks on there, maybe just one. Um, a few uh, soldiers running up and down. But uh, very easy to make. If you watch the video, I'll show you how easy it is. Um, uh, so, yeah, the rest of the video will be how I made this. Um, I would just add in the last video that I made, I, I had a bit of a moan, like I normally do. Um, I veered away from my normal subjects and did a couple of sci-fi um, dioramas, if you like, or models. And um, I thought maybe uh, it, it would get a better response than it did. That, that's all I will say. Uh, but I read the comments and, and it was quite uh, astounding really. There were literally, th well, a few hunt, well, four people said that they would like to see uh, sci-fi dioramas or sci-fi models. So in the following uh, videos, I will revert back to uh, sci-fi subject and we'll do a couple of sci-fi videos. Okay, so uh, we'll get on with this video um, once I've told you to, to subscribe as usual and uh, we'll see how I made it. So I want some steps leading up to a path leading over these uh, two arches. So I've got to decide how high I want the steps, how long I want the steps and how many steps. Uh, so I've made this grid um, I think three eighths of an inch high, uh, whatever that is in millimeters, and then half an inch, 12 millimeters long. And there are uh, 10 steps, I believe. So just mark out a grid like that, and then you can cut them out like that. So when I've got two either side like that, that gives me then um, room to put my steps and risers in. So, wow, well, that was a riser. So that'll go like that, and then the steps will, which are longer, come here, they'll sit on the top like that. Okay, so I've got to cut this one out, cut the same uh, steps out there, uh, it, then it goes along, and then uh, three more steps up, and then uh, work out where you want the arches. So I'll cut the other one out. Uh, then they've got to be. Uh, fixed together somehow so there will be a piece on the bottom like that and a piece at the back so that <clears throat> it, it's sturdy enough then for me to add all my uh, steps and risers on and me uh, flat bit <laughs> at the top there uh, and, and if I go ahead and do it and stick it all together you'll see exactly what I mean Okay, so once I've got that, um, I need some thickness of wall. So I've cut these pieces of polystyrene, which will well, they'll sit this side of the this side of the wall like that. Um, but I've only got this uh, three quarter thick stuff, and that that's going to be way out of proportion for what I want. So. Um, what I would normally do is use a thinner polystyrene styrene, and then put the columns, support columns, on top. So I thought, well, th if this is all I've got, why not cut the rest out? So with the three-quarter polystyrene, I marked out where the columns would be, and then with a bread knife, cut out uh, the columns that way. Uh, cut with a knife first, that's easy enough and then cut in, into it with the, with a bread knife. So now I've got the right thickness of polystyrene and I've also got the columns all in one go. In fact, I think it's a better idea than the other. Uh, so I'll do the other one of those as well and stick those on the side. Uh, I can put uh, stones or uh, recreate stones on the top of there as well. Uh, and this is a this rough surface will be good enough then as a as a finished surface so um, I've got to put my arches in there and uh, yeah I'll put it all together 
and then you'll see exactly what I mean when I've done it. So I'll be back in just one moment. So I cut out the steps of the other piece of card like that. So I've got two to the same like that. Then I put the, the spacer between the two, uh, a piece there and a piece there. So that I was able to keep these at a, a constant distance apart and then put the risers and the steps in. Um, I put the risers in first, although using a hot melt glue you can only put a little tiny blob on either end to put the risers on. But then when you put the steps in, you can glue one, two, three sides and the, the back as well. So what, once the steps are in, it's absolutely a solid construction. You could stand on that. I'm not going to, <laughs> but I think you could. It's absolutely a, a solid construction. Okay, so we've got the shape that we want for the steps with the arches and stuff. So now with the uh, the polystyrene, the, the new idea I've had <laughs> with the cutting back uh, like that, and one will go that side and I'll cut the other one as well that will go the other side like that and then when they're when that's all done then I've got these uh, uh, capping stones coping stones that will well just pieces of cardboard with the uh, the edges um, chamfered off and they will go all the way along the tops like that all the way around uh, I think you know what I mean like that okay so oh yes and the arches I've got some thin card uh, much thinner card that will bend quite easily and they will sit round inside the uh, inside the arch like that get in so that will make the the arch like that then all I've got to, <coughs> all I've got to do is trim off the two edges and that will be that so I'll go ahead and finish it off basically um, doesn't need much uh, more doing to it apart from putting all this together and then giving it a coat of watered down wall filler as usual and then a coat of um, tile grout, grey tile grout, and then sponge it off, and that will give the impression of a, a concrete finish. So I'll be back in one moment and we'll see what the end product looks like. So I haven't quite finished it yet, but I thought I'd show you at this stage. I've just given it that coat of uh, watered down wall filler and uh, given it a stippled. Um, effect all over and now that it's dry um, this would probably be as you would buy um, a plastic kit you would now have to finish painting it yourself from from this point um, so all I'm saying is it's just cost me a couple of pieces of cardboard and a little bit of uh, polystyrene and uh, you could have the same the same thing for very little money Okay, so uh, now that it's at this stage, I can put that uh, tile, yeah, tile, grey tile grout on, and as I put it on, I'll uh, dab it off with uh, a damp sponge, and you'll see the effect um, when I've finished. So I'll finish it completely now, and uh, see you in one moment. Okay, so I finished the whole thing off, but in fact, all I did was put that uh, grey tile grout on uh, just a coat took me about five minutes and then dab it off with a damp sponge and that's it that, that's all I've done um, you, I, I suppose you could do a, a lot more with dry brushing and what have you but I think that's uh, okay as it is uh, so it's just an idea that if you wanted to show off your vehicles in some way like that you could do that or just the one whatever so again it's just a, a different idea for a diorama or you could have men running up and down there if, if I had any I'd stick some on but I don't, I don't have any um, but the the idea is just a, a simple 
It, it looks effective, but it is very simple to make. But above all, it is extremely cheap to make. Uh, polystyrene and cardboard, that's all. Okay, I'll leave it with you then. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, there will be others coming soon. A couple of sci-fi videos coming up very quickly, very soon after this. Um, again, subscribe to the channel and uh, notification bell and all that. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, I wish you the very best of happy modelling.